Good morning, Aberdeen and Fairview United Methodist Church. Pastor Paul here. Welcome to the Christmas Advent season. Uh, these next four Sundays, uh, starting today, are the four Advent Sundays. Um, and I'll draw your attention, I've made a little uh, kind of makeshift altar uh, in my home uh, for these uh, Advent Sundays. And I've actually grabbed the Advent wreath uh, from Aberdeen Church, and I have it here on my makeshift altar and you'll notice I have the first Sunday uh, candle lit for uh, you know representing the first Sunday of Advent. I also have a Holy Bible uh, and a few other uh, you know you'll notice uh, crosses and uh, candle holders that don't have uh, candles in them but uh, and they're not lit but I thought well at least I have the Advent candle lit. Uh, I want to draw your attention to one thing this uh, hutch that I've made into an altar uh, was built for me by a, a Christian brother, Keith Wyeth. When Susie and I um, started attending Ithaca United Methodist Church, Keith and Linda Wyeth were good friends of ours, very active participants. We were in small groups together, um, and uh, they were close to our age, maybe slightly older. I know they've been very involved in mission work uh, in their retirement years. Uh, but anyway, this hutch uh, Keith uh, 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 built for me. Um, he was a, that was a hobby of his, uh, finished uh, woodwork. So uh, something that we've lugged around <laughs> many years. Anyway, welcome to the season of Advent. Uh, I want to begin our uh, time of worship this morning by uh, reading with you from, uh, or a call to worship from Psalm uh, 24. It's also in the United Methodist Hymnal number 212. Um, so here, listen. Psalm 24, verses 1 through 10. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Yes, as I mentioned, it's the Advent season. And um, uh, let me tell you just a little bit about Advent. Uh, this is from the Book of Worship, United Methodist uh, Book of Worship. Uh, in its Advent uh, section, it reads these words. Advent is a season of four weeks, including four Sundays. Advent derives from the Latin Adventus, which means coming. Uh, the season proclaims the comings of the Christ whose birth we prepare to celebrate once again, who comes uh, continually in word and spirit, and whose return in final victory we anticipate. Each year, Advent calls the community of faith to prepare for these comings. Historically, the season was marked by fast for preparation. Each Sunday of Advent has its distinctive theme. Christ's coming in final victory, uh, the first Sunday today, uh, John the Baptist, uh, the second and third Sundays, um, and the events immediately preceding the birth of Jesus Christ, the fourth Sunday. In it, <clears throat> there, that's just a little history lesson uh, from uh, about uh, Advent. So for uh, this morning's worship, 
what I'm going to do is I want to be I'm going to begin with a bidding prayer and then I'm going to sing uh, I'm going to sing one hymn today or one carol uh, and splitting it two uh, verses in the beginning and two in the end uh, O come O come Emmanuel but I want to begin with this bidding prayer uh, we'll sing I'll sing two uh, uh, verses of the carol and then uh, I have three scriptures to share with you and they will be the message uh, the holy scriptures will uh, speak to us this morning and we'll close uh, with those last two verses and a, ben a benediction so will you pray with me as i pray this bidding prayer beloved in christ as we await the great festival of christmas let us prepare ourselves so that we may be shown its true meaning let us hear in lessons from Holy Scripture how the prophets of Israel foretold that God would visit and redeem the waiting people. Let us rejoice in our carols and hymns that the good purpose of God is being mightily fulfilled. Let us celebrate the promise that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will bring all people and all things into the glory of God's eternal kingdom. The blind receive their sight, and the lame walk. The lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. But first, let us pray for the world that God so loves. For those who have not heard the good news of God, or who do not believe it, for those who walk in darkness and the shadow of death, and for the church in this place and everywhere, that it may be freed from all evil and fear, and may in pure joy lift up the light of the love of God. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer to God. In the words that Christ himself taught us, saying, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Okay, O come, O come, Emmanuel. First two verses. Bear with me if I stumble a little bit as I sing a cappella. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile. Oops, let me see, I goofed up. It mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. O come thou wisdom from on high, and order all things far and nigh. To us the path of knowledge show, and cause us in her ways to go. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. Our uh, message <clears throat> this morning, as I mentioned, um, three scriptures I want to share uh, from with you. Uh, the first is uh, the gospel writer Mark, the very beginning of Mark uh, chapter 1, verses 1 through 3. The gospel writer shares these words with us. The beginning of the good news about Jesus 
the Messiah, the Son of God. As it is written in Isaiah the prophet, I will send my messenger ahead of you who will prepare your way. A voice of one calling in the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord, make straight paths for him. And now I turn to that prophet Isaiah and uh, those words that are found in Isaiah 40. I share with you the first uh, eight verses of Isaiah 40. God is coming back. Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her hard service has been completed that her sin has been paid for, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice of one calling, in the wilderness prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground shall become level the rugged places a plain, and the glory of the Lord will be revealed and all people will see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, cry out. And I said, what shall I cry? All people are like grass and all their faithfulness is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall because the breath of the Lord blows on them. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of our God endures forever. And then I close with uh, one more prophet, Jeremiah, in his words about a just king. Um, Jeremiah 23, verses 5 and 6 uh, say these words. The days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, a king who will reign wisely and do what is just and right in the land. In his days, Judah will be saved and Israel will live in safety. This is the name by which he will be called the Lord, our righteous Savior. Back to our carol, the last two verses. O come, O come, great Lord of might, who to thy tribes on Sinai's height in ancient times once gave the law in cloud and majesty and awe. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. O come, thou root of Jesse's tree, and ensign of thy people be. Before thee, ruler silent, silent fall. All peoples on thy mercy call. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. For a closing uh, benediction, I want to uh, share with you this dismissal with blessing which again comes from the book of worship uh, from the Advent season. Aberdeen and Fairview United Methodist Churches, go forth into the world in peace. Be of good courage. Hold fast to that which is good. Render to no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the afflicted. Honor everyone. Love and serve the Lord, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit and the blessing of God Almighty. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you. 
and remain with you always. Amen. See you later, gang. See you next Sunday.